Whitman left behind this incredible, messy, strange diary of his years um, as a volunteer nurse in, in Civil War hospitals. And what I find so moving about what Whitman did is that he was obsessed with maintaining a one-on-one -on -one connection. So the diary is basically just person after person painted in loving and, and individual detail. So that's what attracted me to, to looking at this cataclysm through, through Whitman's eyes. What's fascinating about this piece to me is that there are uh, many stages of my musical development present in it. There are, there are things, ideas in here that I wrote when I was 20 or 21, you know, that then became integrated. And there are things that I revised last year. It's, it's like the rocks in a mountain where there are geological layers that are all quite different from one another. Rod Gilfrey, the baritone who created the role of Walt Whitman, will be with us again. He's sung it everywhere so far, um, as has Devon Tynes, the bass baritone, um, who sings the role of, of Freddie Stowers, an escaped slave who encounters Whitman. I think that now I have a little bit more sympathy for the piece. Uh, I think that I was maybe naively, but in a very open-hearted way, uh, trying to engage with Whitman's generosity of spirit. How messy and generous and, uh, and how many different idioms he speaks in. So I hope that's kind of present in the piece. Mm -hmm.